My name's Austin and I am a coffee roaster. I'm the owner of Straight Coffee Roasters, which roast single origin micro roasted coffee. And I'm gonna be taking you for a ride with me as I go try out some coffees at some local coffee shops and give an honest review of them. Some of the criteria is if we find pour over options, that's fantastic. If not, it's not a big deal. We're gonna be looking for some barista recommendations. We're also gonna be looking for some of the best sellers. Now, some of these shops are very small and some of them are gonna be really large. So we're gonna have different types of coffees that are gonna be offered. The place we're gonna try out is Phil's Coffee. We're gonna see what the barista there recommends. All right, we just got our coffee from Phil's and it was recommended that I get the Dancing Water Coffee, which is a lighter roasted one and it should have hints of vanilla to it. So let's see what's inside of it. When I drink my coffee, I actually like to pop off the lid. So I'm gonna take off the lid a bit. One of the things I'm also gonna find within the coffee is as it cools down, the tasting note should actually change quite a bit. So we're gonna see how much it changed, what's affected, see what type of cool notes come from it. All right, we're gonna start off by giving it a smell, kind of see what we get on the, on the nose. It's a bit nutty, even kind of grassy. Little hints of charcoal to it. All right, we're gonna take a really big drink. It's gonna be quick. That way it gets to the back of the tongue pretty quickly. I get those hints of vanilla as the barista mentioned. Uh, the vanilla fades pretty quickly and then it gets a little smooth actually afterwards. When the barista mentioned that it was pretty smooth, I think that's the vanilla kind of taking over. The smell doesn't change as it cools down a bit. I'm trying to see if I find any fruitiness to it. I don't get much. It's extremely nutty. If I was to rank the nuttiness from zero to 20, it would probably be closer to 14 or 15 out of 20. It's extremely nutty. Towards the end, and the, I would say towards the back of the palette, it starts to be a little charcoaly. You'll usually get charcoaly flavors and tasting notes as it gets roasted longer. So this blend was on their lighter roasted side and it shouldn't be as charcoaly. I'm getting very slight hints of the charcoal towards the end. It's extremely nutty, no fruitiness to it at all. I would say it's extremely bold. It's smooth towards the end. In the beginning, it really kind of hits you with that vanilla, but then it fades pretty quickly. For this coffee, I'd recommend it to someone that is gonna add something to it. If you're gonna add cream or sugar or anything else to it, this is what I would recommend it for. It's decent as a straight black coffee, but you're not gonna get really complex flavor notes in it. And those complex flavor notes are what make straight black coffee really good. So I would recommend this as something that you add cream, sugar, or just sugar, something else that you wanna add to it to kind of mask up that little bits of charcoal to it. For this series, I'm gonna be rating all of the coffees based on this criteria here. I'm going to give a score on the boldness, complexity of it, the fruitiness, the amount of citrus that's in it. There are a number of different factors that will go into the rating of this coffee. And this is the scale that I will use. On the scale of complexity, I would give this about a two out of 10. On the scale of smoothness, I would give this about a four out of 10. On a fruitiness scale, there isn't much fruit to it at all, so I'd give it a zero out of 10. And on a citrusy, I'd probably give it a four out of 10. Overall, my roaster's ranking, I would probably give this a four out of 10. This is a good coffee if you want to add cream and sugar to it. As a black coffee, I wouldn't rank this very high. This is the first coffee that I've tried at Phil's and I'm looking forward to trying other ones and giving my honest review of them. Comment below if you have a favorite at Phil's or if you have another coffee shop that you'd like me to review. I look forward to keeping this series going and giving my honest roaster review. Stay tuned for the next one. Comment, like, and subscribe.